How are you doing guys? This is a, just a, if I can, quick video on how to wind a, a Tesla coil. I've got some 36 gauge wire already, if I slide you down a little bit, down the bottom there, and it's just on a piece of old curtain rail going along there, okay? And then, you can see two end caps I've made up. That wasn't me, that was the thing tightening up. Um, two end caps, I've got the piece of pipe cut. I clean the pipe up, I've got a sander. A, I'll show you the sander. I've got one of these up. So basically I clean up the ends of the pipe, make it nice and neat. And then those caps go on. Sorry about the noise. Nice. And these were a pain just now. It's not the best design, but it works for me. Okay, so I'll just tighten this up. It takes a second. Okay, and then I'm going to adjust this so it's nice and central. Let me get it mounted. Okay, I've got a sewing machine motor. Let's move that out of the way for a sec. There you can all can you see okay. Okay, there's the two parts of the winder. It actually fits fits upside down under my bench here. Uh, both parts. So it's really neat. Uh, two colour book bearings, just bolted on. And uh, this is a a Jones um, sewing machine motor. <coughs> got an old flywheel and it's just got some elastic which I'm going to pop on here. Okay, there's a, <coughs> this is off a, uh, a knitting machine and when you knit it passes and counts the stitches. So what I've got is some um, screws on here so this melts like that okay then I've got this small piece here which probably should have gone on already um, which then hits on this and counts the turns okay so let's try and put this together I might have to just quickly take some so this I'll pop together in a moment let's get this out of the way Okay, I've got some screw, two screws just to bolt this down. Okay, you're going to need tape. You can always use tape on this. Loads of it, unfortunately. Okay, um, let's get this bar back up and I'll get this thing onto the counter. Which needs to go. Oh no, that's cool, that's good. It goes in here. I need to get it around the right way because I want it to. Uh, it that way. It's turning that way. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. Just pop this on if I can. And then I'm going to tape it. And then I can screw this on now. Put the flow on. I need one more nut. Okay, one second. Okay. 
bit of clanking. Okay, okay there. Cool. Stop it moving left and right. And that's it. Got the cut pedal. Which is never disentangled. Okay, let's go to the back. I can hold this and stop it quite easy because it's just elastic so um, it, it really helps because of, with the drills like found was you can get you you can get snappage um, whereas this is a nice slow start it's just a little bit easier you know there's no right or wrong it's just a little bit easier it doesn't take much you know it's just slinging some stuff together you know bits and pieces you can salvage pillar book bearings are not that expensive if you get them uh, if you get them from abroad from china um perfectly fine for this okay so if i pause this for a minute i'll catch a breath and then i'll hook up the wire and show you the wind okay back in a moment guys <laughs> 